Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentle bitches. And the Netherlands career mode is here again, the European Championship. I just want to say before we get into this, I've been getting some, some beautiful support from you guys. I just love it. Thank you guys so much. When 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 people come and comment shit like uh, they they love my FIFA videos, uh, shit like that. My FIFA videos are so good. I'm underrating that. I love it. Just a, just a quick. I love it. Thank you guys for your support. Um, I'm gonna continue doing FIFA. Like I said, I'm trying to get back into it and do it. I've, I've I'm still not bored of FIFA career mode. I'm not. That's not the reason why it's been um taking a backseat. It's just doing walkthroughs and all the other stuff I got on the channel. I've never really found time to play FIFA but I'm trying to find a lot more time to play it now and I'm gonna try and get it back at least every other day on the channel when I start my next well when I move on to the next team basically and try and reinvigorate it on the channel I'm still not bored of it I still actually really love playing FIFA 17 career mode like I do when you build your career modes the right way they can be so enjoyable man they could be so enjoyable but Getting into the game anyway, we're playing against France in the semi-final of the European Championship. And Nabil Fakir steps up and puts the ball into the back of the net. And I'm going to give you guys a hint as to what team I'm playing for next, actually. If you guys know about my career mode, then you'll know what team I'm joining. Nabil Fakir is a player at the team that I'm joining next in this career mode. It's not Leon. He's not in Leon anymore. Matter of fact, I don't know if you guys are going to know this unless I've actually showed it at some point because he is a new signing for the team that I'm joining. The team that I'm joining had just signed him on a pre-contract. So that, that, that's going to let you know maybe if, if anyone could figure out what team I'm joining. That's, that's a little clue. Nabil Fakir will be one of my players and he's just disappointed me by putting France ahead. He's got another opportunity and Nabil Fakir hits the post this time. So putting a lot of pressure on me. Uh, Max van der Meer this time creating an opportunity. He's going to slide it across to the left hand side. Memphis Depay this time pulls it back to van der Meer. And Max van der Meer is that guy. Maxwell van der Meer again scoring a crucial goal. Stepping up and pulling us back into this game. He created it. He's the one who created a little bit of space. Played it out wide to Memphis Depay. Got it back. That's what I love about Van der Meer. Van der Meer never stops. He plays it off to Depay. Steps back a little bit. And then makes that bursting run back into the box. Gets the ball. Tucks it away into the back of the net. Right foot, left foot. It really doesn't matter with this guy. He's the engine. He's, he's, he's only 19 years old. And he's just the guy. Look at him again. Weaving in and out. Finding the gap. Sliding it through to Vincent Janssen. And Vincent Janssen cracks a shot off the post. So Van der Meer is just creating at this point. One all still though. We need to be worried about France. As they could get a chance at any time. Griezmann is played through on goal. One on one with a keeper. And Antoine Griezmann could have just broken our hearts right there. As he does his little hotline bling. With just... Well, it's coming up to 10 minutes left of regular time. Antoine Griezmann played through on goal. One on one with a keeper. Rick Karsdorp is fast but not that fast. And it's a beautiful finish from the Frenchman just tucking it away into that top corner. That's a beautiful... I wish the CPU would finish like that more often and punish you when you need to be punished. Because, like, they that's one of the reasons why the game is so easy. Because they get opportunities and they just waste them. But you can see right here, straight after, only three minutes later, we played a nice through ball into... De oh, I forgot his name. What's his name? Jordi Classy. Jordi Classy. How did I forget his name? He's one of my favourite players in the, in the Premier League at the moment. Jordi Classy. Played through on goal, draws us back level yet again on off the bench. Had all the energy in the world to burst through. And again, we are level. 90 minutes on the clock this time. Janssen plays it through to Berghaus. And his shot is a crucial block right there from Paul Pogba. Now we're into extra time. Karsdorp lost the ball into the box. Janssen heads. And Lloris holds that header right there. Memphis Depay this time getting the ball, cutting in onto his right foot, trying to find a little bit of space. He's going to play it down the right hand side. Burhouse again turns around, plays it back. Memphis Depay squeezes the ball past the keeper. And 104 minutes into this game, we have managed to get ourselves in the lead for the first time. And the police drive past and cause all kinds of noise and interrupts and shit. But I'm going to carry on regardless. 104 minutes in, we get the lead for the first time in the match. And the team is celebrating as if we've won the match, but they're still. Some time to go. Berghaus with a little, with some great perception of the pitch. Able to pull it back to Depay. And he's, got, I mean, tough finish. What a finish. That's his fifth goal in the European Championship in this tournament. And again into the second half this time. Berghaus whips it in and Karsdorp flicks it on. And Rick Karsdorp 
may have just booked us a position in the finals barring a huge um, um, collapse at the end of this extra time. Rick Karsdorp with a similar goal to the one Jeffrey Brumer scored in the first game. Nice delivery from Berghaus, flicked on by Karsdorp into that far post and Rick Karsdorp gets himself a goal. Relatively good goal scoring defender but we get another opportunity here as Berghaus slides through a through ball to Jordi Classy. Brilliant tackle from Amor at Laporte but the referee for some reason feels like that's a penalty. I don't see it. I don't think there's a single person in the comment section who's going to see that as a penalty. Look at that. Laporte got the ball, man. He got the ball. He got all of the ball and nothing but the ball. But regardless, Memphis Depay steps up to take the penalty, buries it, puts it away, and scores his sixth goal of the European Championship. And we are going through to the final. And to be honest, I don't remember checking the top scorers at the end of this. I don't think I checked it, which is a shame on me. I should have checked it because... Memphis Depay just might have ended up as the top scorer. I mean, six goals in the European Championship is nothing to, to, to turn your nose at. Like, that's a lot. That may just well have been the top scorer of the, of the whole tournament. But you can see right here, we're getting into the big one. The European Championship final. Can I win? Can we win a, tr a major trophy in our first year, in our first major tournament in charge of Spain? You see, again, a bit like England, they have a very good team at this point. Asensio, Beast. Paco Alcacer, beast. Uh, Delafeu, beast. Saul, beast. These guys are all beasts once they've grown this far into the career mode. And we're coming at them, trying to knock them off their perch. Van der Meer starts again after pulling us back into the game against France. Dretro Willems puts it into the box. It comes to the back post to Berghaus. And, I mean, the game just reacted a little bit late. His first touch wasn't great, so he took it a bit wide before taking the shot. And David De Gea in the goal, another beast. Keeps it out. Probably didn't need to. It's probably going to hit the side netting. But David De Gea taking absolutely no chances. No chance. If that's what you got. No chances with that one. We get the corner, however. Memphis Depay whips it on. Bruma flicks it on. And just wide of the post. Another well-worked set piece from Netherlands. That's one of our strong points so far in this tournament. Memphis Depay again. Kicking it near post. Bruma on the end of it. Flicking it on. Now we have a counter attack. A lot of players forward to Spain's three players back. Van Hinkle ends up taking the shot himself, and David De Gea pushes it wide again. Van Hinkle carried the ball a long way. No one really made a good run, something for him to pick out. So he just decided to take the shot on himself. And again, David De Gea is equal to it. But right now you can see it's all Holland in this game. Memphis Depay cuts in onto his right foot, takes the shot, and David De Gea again equal to the shot, able to push it out for a corner. But you can see. That it's all Holland in the early stages of this uh, stages of this game. Dominating the proceedings. Getting the chances. Forcing saves out of David De Gea. But now Spain come forward 33 minutes in. Marco Asensio plays it into the middle. Paco Alcacer slides it through to Sol. Pulls it back to Paco Alcacer. And just like that, the ability and the skill level of Spain shines through. We had chance after chance. We didn't put none of them away. No, no glorious opportunities. No real clear-cut opportunities for us. And Spain... Taking it the other way around. They did create a clear-cut opportunity. Paco Alcacer tucks it away into the back of the net. The Barcelona striker putting it away. Daily Blind gets the ball this time as we try and pull ourselves back into it. And Memphis, the power one-on-one is again denied by De Gea. It falls to Van der Meer. And that shot is blocked and eventually cleared by Spain. 45 minutes in, they come forward again. Marco Asensio down the left-hand side. He pulls out Sol across to Paco Alcacer. <laughs> and Spain have doubled their lead. So again... More brilliant chances. That was the best chance of the game for us as Depay got the ball one-on-one. -on -one, saved by De Gea. And then it fell to Van der Meer. Brilliant block. Spain come down the other end. And we don't have De Gea in goal. That's all I can say. Like, we don't... I mean, Zer is good, but... He's not De Gea. And maybe De Gea would have saved that. Maybe he wouldn't have. But I don't know. This time, we're coming forward again. We need to get something as soon as possible if we want to get ourselves back into this game. And Van der Meer tries to do it. Steps up. Takes the shot. And it's just wide of the post. Can't pull us back into this game just yet at least. Van Inkle with a tackle this time. Vincent Janssen, he's going to slide it across to Memphis Depay to pull us back into the game. And Memphis Depay, the top scorer of the team, probably of the tournament so far, has a guilt edge opportunity missed and put wide. What a chance that is. Spain coming forward again. Maybe going to punish us again. De La Feu down this right hand side. Gets into the box. And forces a brilliant save out of Zuri. Like I said man. He might not be De Gea. But he is good. And look at that brilliant through ball from Berghaus. Playing it into Memphis Depay. Getting down the left hand side. Cutting in. Stopped by the defender. Falls to Van Hinkle. And another kill. Edge up the city. 
is missed this time from Van Ginkle. Depay should have just fell over there. It would have been a penalty. Van Ginkle should have tucked it away regardless though. Missed the, the, the target and we had two great opportunities to pull ourselves back into this game. And it would have been 2-2 right now if we'd have got them both in that and them. Rather than it being 2-2. Spain make it 3-0 and Paco Alcacer tucks it away for his hat-trick. A lucky goal right there as we tackled them and it fell right into the path of Alcacer. And Sergio Ramos lifts the trophy for Spain. Spain are the European champions. A disappointing end to the tournament, especially with those two chances, Van Hinkle and Depay. Brilliant chances missed. I mean, disappointing end. Spain win. I hope you guys enjoyed this tournament, however. Let me know what you think about the little... The Netherlands as, as a whole. Do you want to see more national games or do you just want to see club... Um, games because either way i don't mind i kind of enjoyed playing this but again i don't mind if we don't see any more spain lift the trophy that's all for today guys i hope you enjoyed it and the next episode will be the introduction to my new team and a new era in this career mode peace